Hey there, I'm Sean C. Davis, and I'm gonna show you three quick ways that you can add an image to a README in GitHub or any really any markdown file in GitHub. And that, that can be super useful because, well, a, a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So you add more pictures, you write fewer words. But really, images can be really great to go alongside your other documentation. It can, it can really go a long way to helping developers and other consumers of your content, content understand what you're trying to tell them. So three ways we're gonna go about this. Let's dive right in. The first thing I need, because I haven't picked it out yet, is I need an image. You might already have an image. Over here, I'm on Unsplash, and I've searched for cheese, because why not? Let's add an image of cheese today. What the heck? And I think I'm particular to this image right here, so I'm gonna download this, and we'll say thanks to Katrin, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, for this lovely image that we're going to put in this GitHub README image test. So that image has downloaded to my downloads directory over here, and I've got my repo pulled up in this other tab, so I'm just gonna pull it over. And now I've got an image locally. And this is our first method. The first method being using an image that is local that is also committed to your GitHub repository. It's probably the easiest thing to do, uh, but the downside is it can it can bloat your repository if you're adding tons and tons of images that may or may not be a big deal to you okay so back in uh actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull up my code now here's my readme and in markdown the syntax for adding an image is exclamation point square brackets and then parentheses and what goes in the square brackets is the alt tag for the image. In this case, why don't we just say cheese and, and not just say it, but yell it cheese. That's what we're, we're looking at a lot of cheese here. Okay. And then the, the path that we pass in the parentheses here is what gets added to the, the source attribute in the actual image tag. And it's relative to where we are. And so since if I look at my, uh, my file explorer here, I've only got two files in this repo and they're on the same level here. So I can copy the path to this file and paste it in here, and it should work just like this. Now we can test this if I go and commit and say uh, add local image. I'm gonna commit there, come over and push to the repository, come back to GitHub here, now that it's pushed, I can refresh and look, I see my image, fantastic. All right, so that's method one. Method two is we can load a remote image. Oh wait, actually, before we get there, one more thing. Uh, so I mentioned that it is a relative path. If I go back to my code here, this is a, a, a relative path to the image. So if you've got it in a different directory, you've got to move uh, with that, that path. So if I come back to the file explorer, let's say I didn't want the images in my root directory, which is probably a good idea. And I, instead, I've got an images directory, and I'm going to throw the image in there. All right, well now I have to say images slash and then my file name. If it were the other way around and I say my markdown file was in a directory called docs and the image was in the root of the project, then like you do on the command line, you could simply just use dot dot slash if you need to go up a directory. Dot dot slash dot dot slash if you need to go up two directories and so forth. So it's all, it's all relative in that sense and GitHub figures it out and, and knows exactly what to do. All right, I'm gonna put this back. So we are where we were. And now, uh, so method, method two, method two is that we are going to add a remote image. Now that might mean that you put all your images in S3 or Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever service you use, or Maybe they're already hosted in another platform or in a CMS or it, I don't know. They could be anywhere. But the second method is simply to add a, uh, a remote path where our, our source attribute is. So in this case, I grabbed my image from Unsplash. Well, Unsplash is 
posting these images somewhere. So let's say I right click on this and say, I'm going to copy the address here and then I'm going to come back to my code. And down here, instead of a local path, I'm going to give it the path that Unsplash is using and hosting this image. I'll commit this by saying add remote, ooh, remote image. And then we'll push those changes up to GitHub. Come back to my repo, done pushing, refresh. And look at that, boom, I've got both images. Here's my local one, here's my remote one. Okay, last one, super sneaky, tricky thing to do, but it's kind of cool, so I wanted to show you anyways. It's like the same, it's like the, the second option here uh, in that it's a, a remote image, but we, we've got this kind of special use case. So we've got images in our, or images, we've got issues in our repository, same with pull requests. Uh, you can also enable discussions on open source repositories. And let's say I created a new issue and I was just gonna dump all of my images in an, in an issue. Seems crazy, right? But let's just call this, let's say, image library. Okay, I'm gonna submit that. So now I've got this, uh, this issue, and I'm gonna say this is gonna hold all my images. Well, what I can do is I can come back to where my image was locally and upload it as a comment. I could also have put it in the description here. Comment, and you notice what happened was when I pulled it over, at first it was loading, and then it gave me this URL. And so I can copy that comment and now this image it's up and it's hosted on github and so if i come back to my code locally i can do this again and i can paste that in there All right let's say add image from github source and then we're going to push that up to github and let's see if it actually works because that would be amazing all right, we're done pushing. Look at that, it totally worked. So now it's a little goofy and there's no promising that GitHub doesn't totally restructure their URLs and uh, you have to go change all your references. That might happen, it could happen because the proper use of putting images in issues is to put images in issues. However, it's a great quick way if you need a couple images hosted for you, just drop them in GitHub. You've already got your code hosted there as well. It's a little bit goofy because you gotta know like where, where did that come from? Where was that issue? And that's why I created this issue and I, I called it image library. So it's like, all right, this is one place I'm gonna go to for all my images rather than having to remember like this, this image came from here and this image came from here. But anyways, that's, that's it in a nutshell. That's three different ways that you can add an image to any sort of markdown file in a GitHub repository. I'm Sean C. Davis. You can find me on Twitter at Sean C. Davis 29. I would love to talk to you, learn how you used this approach, which approach you preferred, what else you learned in that process. But that's all for now. I'll see you next time.